plenty of room for growth. About PR of logistics companies. Hello, it's Eno. I would like to broadcast Eno Sands Logistics Radio today. Today theme is about PR of logistics company. A logistics company is basically a company to transport goods not to communicate them. Basically, we are not a media company, so the job of communicating is probably the advertising agencies or YouTubers. However, as a YouTuber who actually works in the international logistics industry, I personally think it is important to tell the world what logistics companies are doing. Major Japanese logistics companies also have YouTube channels. There was a news that MOL, Mitsui OSK Lines, had renewed its YouTube channel, so I went to check it. At the same time, I also checked the channels of shipping companies, such as NYK and Kawasaki Kisa, and forwarders such as Nippon Express and Hitachi Transport System. Personally, I found the content interesting. I learned a lot about the latest technology and shapes and functions of car carriers. Mole's seminar on collecting microplastic waste by general merchant vessels, as the project itself, was also of great interest to me. After going through the YouTube channels of those companies, I felt that there is still a lot of room for growth in the PR of logistics companies. Even though the content is very good, the number of views is low, and I felt that it is not well known by the general public. Other companies such as Nippon Express and Hitachi Transport System seem to put a lot of effort into their TV commercials, but I thought they could be better represented as YouTube media. Personally, I think that the younger generation will be more interested in logistics if we focus on making it easier to understand, cooler and more interesting, and it will give a positive impact on the logistics industry. It is true that logistics is very much an infrastructural function of transporting goods. The essence of logistics is not expression. However, if we think of logistics as merely a function of transportation, we will fall into a price competition. It is a little sad to think that logistics equals cost. Major companies are able to secure space on their vessels with economies of scale and provide logistics services to their customers with stable costs and schedules. However, it is also true that they were exhausted by the intense price competition before the spread of Corona. I think every day that in the future of international logistics, can logistics also have an artistic aspect while it is an infrastructural function? I myself, have been sending out information on international logistics with the economy. The move of international economy and logistics are interlinked. So I think it is necessary to express the logistics that supports the international economy in a way that is easier to understand and more interesting to people in the future.